we are Hello and welcome to Beauty Tabletop. Today we have Crystal with us and Crystal will be talking to us today about spring and summer trends. So welcome Crystal to Thank Beauty you. Tabletop. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here yes. with you guys. Yes. I'm Renee. I'm Kenda. My name is Krista. I am a professional makeup artist and I specialize really in glowing natural glam looks for my clients. I also help my clients uh, recreate looks at home, especially for those people who really struggle with doing makeup on their own. I just kind of help them create just a five step easy look so they can recreate the everyday looks for themselves. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm always like reading magazines, looking at TV, trying to figure out what the spring trends are because most of the clients are classic. They like to have just regular corporate or even if they own their own business, they don't wear a lot of makeup. Right. But most people want to incorporate just one or two trends just to stay fresh, just to stay current. Right. So that's what I want to come on and talk about tonight are the uh, spring beauty trends. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are one of the best eye trends for spring daytime? Yes. So one of the things, and if you notice, I have on lashes. So Beautiful. lashes, thank you, are really like a big thing. You see lashes everywhere now. Mm -hmm. But if you're not into lashes, just getting a good volumizing mascara. Mm -hmm. But another thing that you can do even outside of lashes, one of the big trends is a colorful eyeliner or a colorful mascara. Mm -hmm. So you can take like a cobalt blue or emerald green or even like an orange or a pink if you want to be that bold to create a nice eyeliner yeah. and just having just one color on your eye it just really pops and that's something simple that everybody can do and you can just keep the rest of your look super neutral mm -hmm. and natural and just do that one liner mm -hmm. or you could do like a colorful mascara especially on brown eyes blue mascara is super pretty mm -hmm. so you can get at um, Walgreens you can do L'Oreal or you can go high and do Christian Dior it depends on you know what you want to do as far as spending okay. but like blue eyeliner violet eyeliner purple mm -hmm. eyeliner um, and the same with the mascara you can do them together or you can just do either one it is just super pretty wow. awesome. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then can you do the same thing at nighttime yes okay and then even at night, like I usually don't wear eyeliner on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and so at nighttime, you can smudge the blue liner on the bottom mm -hmm. or the purple eyeliner on the bottom mm -hmm. and then just kind of create more of a smudgy kind of smoky look. And that'd be really pretty. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good to know because I never know what to do with my eyes. Right. Really? Right. Yeah. Good to know. Oh, yeah. So just get like a really pretty royal blue mm -hmm. eyeliner. Now, if you are like just kind of tiptoeing into the trends and you don't want to spend a lot. NYX is a really good drugstore type of brand mm -hmm. where you can get it like at Ulta, you can get it at, I think at Walgreens or CVS, but they have the prettiest liquid eyeliners okay. and pencil eyeliners and not, they're not more than like $6. Okay. And you can play in the trend without spending a lot of money. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So how did you get started? your education on makeup and the right products, different products and stuff like that. I started off in makeup when I was 18. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm much older than that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like when I was starting college, I was working retail and I never wanted to work in the clothes department because I didn't want to pick clothes up. I'm okay. like, oh yeah. I'm not picking Ooh. up clothes behind anybody in these dressing rooms. Right. So they put me at the makeup counter. And I was like, okay, this is fun. So I was working like for Bobby Brown and oh, Christian Dior and uh, prescriptives. I learned how to blend powders when they used to blend powders mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did all the classes at Macy's and Neiman Marcus and just all the classes that they offered. Mm -hmm. So I always was a freelance makeup artist and I kept my own career and, you know, went down that path. But I always did makeup. So it's awesome. just something I just have done for years and years and years. Awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Every time I see you, your face is just beat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and it's stuff that I enjoy to do too, you oh, know. Good. So it's like if it's something you enjoy, you'll do it, you know, and you'll spend time doing it. Just yeah. like I'm sure you are with your hair and everything. Right. It's like that's really your passion. Right. And for me, I'm like my daughter keeps my hair up now with mm -hmm. my locks, and I don't have time for that. But I'll sit in my face all day. <laughs> oh, you know? cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So can you go over the nine tips with us? Yes. So I brought some notes here because I want to make sure that I covered this with all of you all. So one of the top things that I put on here, and really the vibe is vibrant. Mm. For spring 2019, you'll see like in all the magazines, when you look on TV, it's vibrant. You see a lot of color. You see a lot of patterns. You know, I wore this necklace just to kind of demonstrate okay. that the colors and the patterns are really what you see. Mm. So vibrant is the vibe. Right. Okay. So number one is colorful eyeshadow. Okay. So we already kind of talked about that, mm -hmm. but even on top of the liner and the mascara, we're talking about you can get like a blue shadow, a green shadow, a purple shadow, mm -hmm. and just run it over your eyelid mm -hmm. and get a big fluffy brush because the fluffier it is, the more it's going to diffuse the color over the entire lid. Oh. Take that and just kind of blend that on your eyelid mm -hmm. and go. Just cool. start with that. Okay. And keep a neutral lip gloss, you know, but it just will be a little pop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, we talked about number two is the bold eyeliner. Mm -hmm. We got that. Number three is a monochromatic makeup look. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that instead of you trying to figure out, okay, I have the blue shadow now, what color lip should I do? What color cheek? Mm -hmm. Keep it all the same color. Okay. So if you do like a peach color on your eye, a mm -hmm. peach cheek, a peach lip, mm -hmm. and it's all monochromatic, it all comes together, and that's a look. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a look. I love that look. Awesome. Um, fourth one is I just left my facialist. <laughs> so you're like, what does that mean? <laughs> so having that look that, you know, I just got my skin done. I just came from getting a Fresh facial. Clean. Fresh, oh. clean, glowing. So you may put on like a tinted moisturizer or just put your moisturizer on, put mm -hmm. on a lip gloss, mm -hmm. a little mascara, and just that fresh, fresh. clean look mm -hmm. is so, yes, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, it's so good for spring, mm -hmm. you know? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody tries to achieve that look. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's funny, it's like sometimes you have to use products to achieve the yeah. natural look yeah. that you're going right. for, right? right. Yeah. So you might use like a face oil or a moisturizer, something to give your face a glow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Glow, yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you recommend um, like moisturizers and stuff for the hotter weather? Yeah, I think even from spring, summer, winter, you should always do a moisturizer. Okay. But you may go a little bit lighter in the spring, summer, because you don't want it to be too heavy. Like yeah. you use rich creams in the wintertime. Right. But in the spring, summer, you can do a light oil. So okay. you can still do a face oil. Mm -hmm. It's not going to make your skin overproduce oil. Mm -hmm. It will actually balance your skin out. Okay. So if you do a light face oil or a lightweight moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I noticed that with me, I put... I have dry skin. Mm -hmm. And I put lotion on, the same lotion all year round. In the summertime, I'm sweating like mm -hmm. And I'm like, there has to be something better that I can use. Yes. With. So, and it's creamy. Yes. So, I probably need a lighter one. Right. Okay. And okay. that's what I do, too, is I offer clients personal consultations. Okay. If they're looking specifically for, you're like, I'm dry skin. Right. This is what I'm using. How can you help me to find something right. I really can use? Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did we leave off? Number five, mm -hmm. colorful mascara. So we talked about that already. Yeah. Um, number six is neon lips. All right. <laughs> yeah, right so lips. bright lips are everywhere. So mm -hmm. this one is one of the new Fenty lip colors. Ooh, uh -huh. yes. And I like it because it's like it's bold and you can wear this by itself. You don't have to do anything else. This is the look. You know right. what I mean? Awesome. And um, she has some oranges, but their different lines have the pinks, the oranges. Um, I don't really particularly for my taste care for like the greens and the blues, but that's a look too, right. you know? Right. But the whole thing is the neon lips. Okay. Mm -hmm. Neon. Mm -hmm. okay. Just like the nails, you know, yeah, the neon is everywhere. Right. I, I thought neon went away and like, it did. and then it came back. Right. 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 Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you picking up some of that I in your know. shirt too. I'm just looking like yes. So you're on trend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, the seventh one is kind of tricky for people to pull off on their own, and it's glossy makeup. Mm -hmm. oh. And what that is, is it's the look of having a gloss on your lids, a gloss on your cheeks. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't powder your face in other areas and really work to create the look, it can almost kind of look greasy. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I would just recommend, there's a, a brand called Melt, and they have a product called Glossy, something gloss, I forget the entire name, but if you just put that on your lid and keep the rest of your face matte, powder the rest of your face, you can pull the look off. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what is it called again? It's Milk is the brand, and it's called Gloss, uh, Gloss something. Okay. Milk. Uh -huh. <laughs> my daughter China did a um a glossy ad. Did and it she? It was the cutest thing. Yes. Yeah. And then she put um the color on her lips. And yes. It was so cute. All right, China. That's the trend. Mm -hmm. And see, and even like when you say for your daughter, you can go from the youngest to the oldest. Mm -hmm. All these trends are not limited to mm -hmm. 17, 18 year olds, 20 year olds, mm -hmm. right. 40 year olds, 60 year olds right. can pull it off too. Everybody can incorporate things mm -hmm. into their wardrobe. And it just depends on how you wear it because you might just someone older might say I just want to do the eye mm -hmm. and not do the whole face right. but it just depends on your comfort level it's oh, no restrictions okay. cool mm -hmm. nice. makeup is for everybody yes uh, number eight, which is one of the ones that I really, really love, is called the Bronze Golden Glow. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I mean, for summer, everybody wants to be bronze. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be tan. Everybody wants a highlight. Right. You know, it's just a look, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so you can incorporate that super easy by getting a good bronzer and mm -hmm. just doing a bronzer on your face, really in the points of your face where the sun hits, mm -hmm. getting a really pretty highlighter and putting that on the high points of your face and mm -hmm. on your nose. Mm -hmm. and then getting like a face mist and kind of spritzing your face to kind of incorporate those powders mm -hmm. you're good to go okay so can you wear the bronzers or the highlighters without like the foundation yeah you can and that's a good question too because some people think well i need to do the whole makeup mm -hmm. look before right. i can do it the only thing i would recommend is if you do the highlighter without putting on foundation powder just make sure you're blending it in mm -hmm. because as well, me and my daughter were talking about that too. When you put the highlighter, you don't want it to look like a line mm -hmm. or right. a strip just sitting on your cheek. Mm -hmm. So take your brush and really buff it in. Okay. So okay. it almost looks like your skin is shining from the inside. Mm -hmm. And you can do that if you buff it. But if you just kind of press it on, mm -hmm. it's going to look like it's just a strip of powder on your face. And it's like, that's right. not a finished look. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would recommend if you're not going to do foundation and you're going to do the highlighter, at least do the bronzer. Mm -hmm. And the bronzer will contour and the highlight will kind of lift and they kind of play together mm -hmm. and that gives you more of a look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And last but not least is Pretty in Pink. So yeah. we have the neon lip, which is pink, mm -hmm. but you can do a whole pink monochromatic look. Mm -hmm. You can just do a pink lip. You could do a pink cheek, which is really pretty, but pink is the color of the season. Coral is too, oh, it's but it's like just having that bright flush of color is just really pretty and fresh for spring. Oh, mm -hmm. so nice. Mm -hmm. Those were some great tips. Hey. Now I'm going to play in some makeup. Yes. <laughs> now, what do you think that you might want to try? For me, the color mascara. Mm, that would be pretty on you. And the color, what is it the eyeliner mm -hmm. you present that? Yes. Because I don't know too much about eyeshadow or how to apply it. Mm -hmm. um, and I have all these brushes at mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to use them. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going with the basics. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Start with the liner. I know it. <laughs> so when you Me take either. a picture, you got to post it to your a page so oh. everybody can see it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you could do like a challenge and you can have everybody post oh. it with you to kind of help support you. Oh, you know what? That's fun. a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you going to try? So I think I'm going to try all of them. But my favorite, <laughs> my favorite would be the highlighter. Mm. The highlighter and the color um, mascara. So and then another thing I just thought about since you said highlighter, you could do a cream highlighter really? or you could do a liquid highlighter mm -hmm. or you can do like a highlighting balm mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. will help you to blend it in your skin okay. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My youngest daughter got um, highlighters and stuff upstairs so I'm just taking that. 
Right. So you got to post a picture too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we all want to comment when she posts her picture. <laughs> I am. Yeah. So, so are we leaving the dark lips like the blacks and the dark blues and the dark greens for the winter? We're leaving that oh. into winter. Okay. Now for me, I personally love dark lips. Mm -hmm. I can wear dark lips year round and it depends on the mood too. Mm -hmm. Like a dark lip can be a look. Right, mm -hmm. but for the most part, we're trading that in for our softer, prettier, fresher looks for spring summer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a favorite brand that you use? Well, I have a brand that I represent um, on my website. If people are interested, they can go out and check out my website. It's crystallee.org. Um, but as far as Sephora, I like all brands. I'm okay. like. I'm not discriminating. <laughs> if it works, like I like Fenty, I like um, Laura Mercier, I like Too Faced, um, I love Mac. Mac is always going to be an all-time favorite. Right. I mean, they have go way back. Um, mm -hmm. So mostly when I think about my kid, I carry Mac. I carry Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I have some Black Opal. Black Opal has some beautiful colors, mm -hmm. some really pretty colors. So it just depends. You just get out there and just kind of mix and match and pick things that catch your eye. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you said you have a, a brand that you sell on your website? Yeah, I'm you a brand ambassador for a brand. Um, and so what I do is I represent that brand. It's not my personal line. I don't right. have my line yet. Okay. Um, but people can go out to my website to check that out. And what's your mm -hmm. website again? It's crystallee.org. Y'all mm -hmm. check that out? Mm -hmm. Check and it you out. say you had a kick. So do you go to people's homes and do their makeup or events? So I really specialize in doing photo shoots, mm -hmm. um, before and after makeovers, uh, but mostly photo shoots and headshots. Mm -hmm. I really don't do weddings too much anymore. It's just so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. I used to do weddings and I'm like, it's so much because I really um, like to just do maybe three or four people a day and that's okay. about the maximum I like to do. Okay. Um, so like for the past several months, I've just really been busy with photo shoots. So people call me when they're doing their branding photo shoots. I work with people who develop websites and work with them with their clients um, okay. and that's basically how I get hired. Nice. Awesome. Then I also, once people meet me and they say, okay, I have brushes. I don't know what to do with my brushes. I do personalized one-on-one -on -one consultations too, where people will come to my home studio, mm -hmm. sit down with their makeup bag, and I'll go through with them how to use their products, give them recommendations, and kind of set out a little makeup plan for them. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that is good. Y'all better hit her up. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> So were you real busy for prom season? Or? Yeah, and you know, I was busy, uh, I was moderately busy, okay. you know, moderately busy. Um, I have an Instagram too, it's uh, crystally underscore MUA, you can go out and you can see my clients out there too. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was mostly busy with my photo shoot clients mm -hmm. uh, than I was with prom, but prom is like a big season. Yeah. And these girls, they have a look they're trying to yeah. achieve, okay? They bring it, don't they? I mm -hmm. mean, it's no games play, right? No, no, <laughs> yes. From the dresses to the <laughs> Hair. These Look girls up. know what they want, and they're like trying to get the yeah, look. Right. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. So glad I have a son. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of money too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and that's the thing too. Speaking of money, because people pay, you know, top dollar for makeup artistry the same way they would for hair. You right. know. So when you think about it. The fees for makeup artistry, you know, they're up there too, the same way someone would get a new hairstyle. Right. And it's all part of the experience. And yes. that's the one thing for me is that yes. um, I really try to create an experience when people come to my studio mm -hmm. or I go to visit them mm -hmm. where it's, it's a high-end experience. You know, mm -hmm. you feel comfortable, you feel relaxed you feel taken care of, and I really just want your vision to come to fruition, mm -hmm. and that's how any artist should be. Oh, Absolutely. wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is good. So, um, let's talk about tans. I have a tan, guys, but do you 
Do you do spray tanning? Mm-mm. You don't do the spray tanning. No. Tan. But I know a lot of people who want to get that. Mm-hmm. And you think, oh, God, she's black. And what, oh, she want to spray tan. Right. Yeah. But it just helps. And, like, I could probably use it, too. <laughs> but it just helps. But for me, I stay in my lane on what I do. Okay. You know? And um, it's some things that I do want to add on as far as my services mm-hmm. later and later. get more training. Mm-hmm. But I do a specific, specific thing. And I don't try to say... Oh yeah, girl, I can do it, and you come over, and I have you looking crazy. Right? No, Uh, so no, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. But I do. I do know a lot of people that get the um, spray tan, Mm -hmm. and they're so pretty. So and they can even you out just like a bronzer would. Yep. So it helps to even out your skin tone, especially for people who have hyperpigmentation mm-hmm. and just have discoloration. And, you know, like for me too, it's like some little areas are lighter, darker. The spray tan all over will just even you out just like a foundation mm-hmm. would, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Your wheels are spinning, huh? I can see <laughs> Yeah. You're thinking about all these different things I you want to do. Right? Right? I'm like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. goodness gracious. So, so oh, mm-hmm. another thing. So, what do you recommend that someone keep in their purse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like regularly? That's a good, good question. Yes. Because when I do the consultations with people and they bring their makeup back, there's certain things I think you should always have in your makeup mm-hmm. bag. Um, number one, you should always have a lip gloss or a lip mm-hmm. balm. Okay. Everybody needs that. I mean, you always want to keep your lips nice and hydrated. Mm-hmm. So that's number one. Number two, I always keep a pressed powder in my compact, and I mm-hmm. recommend that for everybody. Because, you know, you might get a little oily. Now, for me, I'm not, like, super, you know, um, like all through the day, I need to be matte. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not obsessed about it. But if you go from day to night and you're busy, like a lot of us are, we're going from morning appointments to evening mm-hmm. with our kids, family, whatever. It just allows you to touch up before yeah. you transition to the next thing you have to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So those two things, number one, I always keep different color lip glosses because if I'm going from work to evening, mm-hmm. maybe I want to switch from a light pink to a deeper color. Oh. So I'm just thinking of busy women who just like are transitioning from things from mm-hmm. day to night right. and may not have time to go home right. and do anything. I always keep an eyebrow pencil because your brows will come off on you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're anything yeah. like me and you need to fill it in, they will be disrespectful and come <laughs> off. So a brow pencil in the same, if you're wearing lashes for the day, I always tell everybody, if you're wearing lashes, always keep glue uh-huh. in your bag because these lashes will lift on you okay. and you'll be, be hanging. no ma'am, <laughs> and you'll be going to dinner and it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Go to the bathroom, right. take, glue that thing back, and go sit right back down. Right. So you always need lash glue if you wear lashes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. That was a great tip. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put stuff in my little bag. Yes. 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 On top of having a nail file, a right. safety pin, right. extra contacts, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It's the, yeah. yeah, those are like the staples <laughs> right. everyone has to have in your bag. Oh, cool. And some lotion. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Me, definitely. definitely. Yes. 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 But, I mean, I think we covered everything. Yeah. Yes. Those are some great, yes. great Good. Tips. I want to thank Krista. Oh, I'm sorry. I love her necklace. Yes. Oh, oh my thank God. Thank you. And this is um, from Sassy Jones Boutique. She's oh, another yeah. local um, okay. business owner here in Richmond. Right, right, right. Really, really pretty spring items. So you guys can yeah. check her out too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Very pretty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and this incorporates all of our spring trends. You know, just the brightness, the sparkle, mm-hmm. the yeah. pink. You know, so throw on a little necklace, throw on a little something sparkle, put on a little something on your ears mm-hmm. and just have fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank yes. you for having thank me. You. Thank you. This was fun. It was. Thank you so much for taking your time out. To You're come welcome. On Beauty Table Talk. You're welcome. This was fun. We want to ask everyone to follow us on Instagram. Yes. Beauty Table Talk. Facebook, Beauty Table Talk. And YouTube. We have a YouTube channel as well. Beauty Table Talk. Yay. So <laughs> stay tuned for more Beauty Table Talk. Yay. <laughs> See you later. Bye.